the BP oil spill, but what's an electric monument? An electronic monument, Timmy. Also called a memorial. An electronic monument is a new internet practice developed by Gregory L. Almer, and it helps us recognize the abject sacrifices that support the values held by us as individuals and as a nation. But what's an abject sacrifice? An abject sacrifice are those sacrifices made but are not recognized as sacrifices. For instance, we officially recognize the sacrifices that soldiers make in wars and make official memorials to honor the way they live and upheld the official values of our community. Like the Lincoln Memorial or Washington Monument. Yes, exactly. And also like the Vietnam Memorial. Abject sacrifices, however, go unnoticed, even though they support society's values. For instance, Omer discusses the abject sacrifices of children abused by their parents. And if it weren't for these sacrifices, Timmy, well, I wouldn't have the right to raise you. And the, what a memorial does is it reconfigures, resituates those losses in terms of a sacrifice on behalf of a national value and connects them with an existing memorial or monument to bring out, through this juxtaposition, this, this phenomenon of sacrifice. Um, now, it might be that we would say, well, wait a minute, we don't want to memorialize child abuse. Um, do we? I mean, but no, we have to think about what value is being uh, memorialized there. Uh, why is child abuse tolerated in this country? Why is it possible for a parent to kill his or her child? Well, it's possible because we believe in freedom, because we believe in uh, every parent being able to, you know, you're in the hospital two or three days, they hand you their kid, you know, you don't have to have a PhD, you don't have to have a license, uh, you, you know, you don't have to be a professional, you just, there you are, you're a parent, there's your kid, you know, you can kill it, if you do, we're going to come and get you, please don't, but, you know, it's your choice. Um, and so we say, well, maybe, maybe that's a value, that maybe we should memorialize that, and these kids, however many thousand uh, die every year, they should be memorialized uh, as a loss on behalf of a value. Then, if we don't like that value, Let's change it. You know, once we see it as a collective behavior that we're committed to, if that's not us, if we look at that and we don't recognize it or we abject that, uh, that value, then fine. Then we begin to change our behavior. This would be the emergency. This would be the way that the new consultancy would work. It isn't that we already know what the answer to child abuse is. In fact, uh, as far as we understand it, instrumental reason has done everything it can to prevent child abuse. But there's a lot more at stake. There's many more things that are involved.